All right, so it's tradition. We got to do one Bernie for the boys. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue working on our 2019 Ford F450 Platinum. And as you've seen in the previous video, we started buffing and polishing our entire paint job and it is turning out absolutely amazing. But all we got left to buff and polish is actually our hood, which is probably going to be the hardest part. But once we knock that out, we're going to move on to our doors and completely reassemble them things. But the most important thing of today is actually welding in our aprons because as of right now, they are held in by self tappers. So we got to take apart this front end one last time just to gain access to them things. So we got a lot of work on our hands. So let's just get straight to work. Dang, son, that looks absolutely amazing. This is taking a good bit of time. We had to hit it with a 2025 or 1500, 2000, and a 2500, and a 3000 just to get it flawless because, like you said, this is like the face of the truck, really. Yeah, right? it's the face of the truck, and it got the worst of it because it is the flat panel and everything that falls on top of it just sticks to it. So it was kind of difficult. The side panels are easy, but we managed to sand everything out to yeah, twice this, as long. This little trench right here was really difficult, but it's looking good, looking nice and shiny. Now, what's next? Uh, now we're going to throw on our super soft pad and swirl mark and move the whole entire thing basically just polish it get all these swirls out that the buffer left behind and i think that's going to be it and once that's done we're probably going to pull it outside wash it down because we don't want this stuff to stick on it and stay and then once we wash it down we're going to go ahead and start assembling them doors So the truck is completely polished out and man it is looking good out here in the nature right now oh yeah you can see the reflection of the sky the trees and everything it's looking absolutely amazing but now it is time to give this thing a wash see what it looks like without all this residue on there and is so it doesn't stain none of the plastics up here so actually let's go ahead give it a nice quick wash and then we're gonna pull it inside and assemble them doors
just had to pause for a second and just admire this thing, dude. It looks really good. I can't dude. even believe how it turned out. All that buffing and polishing was definitely worth it. I know it took a lot of time. As you can tell, it's already getting dark, and it is New Year's. Kind of, kind of got a late start, right? Yeah, kind of got a late start. But dude, I gotta say, this paint came out better than I expected. I thought we were gonna have to repaint it, but dude, we just ended up buffing, buffing a lot, buffing a lot of buffing, a lot, a lot, of, lot sanding. of sanding. But dude, it came out just perfect, dude. Just look how it glistens. Dude, it glit. The that's the perfect <laughs> word right there. And also, I know we were talking about that black grill, but I'm kind of having second thoughts. I don't know. What do you think? I, I gotta say my opinion as soon as everything's back together, you know, like yeah. all the chrome uh, door handles, the mirrors, mirrors all that good stuff. All that because good stuff, because that's not really necessarily chrome. This is like a almost like a satin. It's like a I'd call this a brushed aluminum finish. You yeah, know, this, this is, is chrome. That's yeah. chrome brushed aluminum, and it kind of breaks up all the black that's going on in there, especially with the black I'd headlights. I'd like to get a black emblem if we can find one because this would be super hard to paint because that's like all one piece. Yeah, that's true. If we can find one with the with the little nozzle hole and a camera hole dude i'd buy it right away but other than that dude it looks absolutely amazing now let's go ahead and pull it inside All right, so we finally got both doors completely put back together. Everything looks good, everything works. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump onto this side. We're gonna slap on a 450 badge, ain't that right? Yep, we got one. So we got one good one. We have to order the other side, but I just wanna go ahead and snap this sucker Might as in, well. man. Since we already got the mirrors and stuff going here, let's go ahead and see how good this is. Sick. I know they sell the actual light up ones. I don't know what brand they are. Maybe there's some aftermarket cheap, cheap brand, or maybe yeah. there's some high quality brand, but these are gonna do for now, I guess. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, that looks sick. Unless that we black them out, what do you think? I don't know, man. That's a lot of work right there, blacking something small like that out. You're gonna have to basically, I don't even know how you would black that out. A lot of sanding, a lot of very tedious, intricate sanding right there. Might but just leave that, I don't know, unless we get like some aftermarket ones, like you said, full black. But other than that, dude, this thing is starting to look like a truck dude, now. Dude, looking sharp. I can't wait to throw on the fender flares. It's going to look even yeah, more aggressive. Yeah, that's like the crazy thing. We're, we're looking at it right now. It's looking kind of like a stock, like F250, 350, but 450, they got the aggressive looking flares, and it just matches the rear flares, and it looks super good. I mean, just look how far these tires are sticking out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely needs that. These axles, I don't remember if they are wider or yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, they're they're a lot they're a lot wider because they turn a lot sharper oh, yeah, than the three fifties. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's the turn radius on it is amazing. But as of right now, what are we gonna do? Start tearing apart that front end to get to those aprons? We, we, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I think that's what we should do because we definitely gotta weld those in because look at this. It looks beautiful, but now we gotta tear it down. A few things like the headlights, grill, and the bumper, right? That should yeah, be real easy. Maybe even leave the bumper on. I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's true. The aprons, or oh, never mind, we're gonna have to take the bumper off because they're like right there. So let's go ahead and start ripping some things apart.
All right, so the front end is completely taken apart. I went ahead and started drilling. As you can tell, I drilled out the front holes. There still needs to be two more holes drilled right where these screws are, but we're gonna leave them in for now. But I'm doing the exact same thing in the back over here, which is what the factory recommends. So I'm gonna drill three holes right here and three holes over here. And then once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and weld these up. As you can tell, I wedged myself in here to get to these holes. Dude, that kind of looks comfortable. Are you comfortable I'm right there? I'm pretty comfortable, man. All I have to do is just put my head back, maybe even like shove my hand in here, act like I'm working. I just take <laughs> good nap man just take we, a good nap yeah for sure definitely that looks kind of comfortable but we're about to bring in that welder and you know spot them suckers in let's do it man let's weld this uh, apron in and then the front end will probably never come apart ever again So we completely welded this side up and went ahead and used some etching primer and some black paint so it'll never rust. Now let's go ahead and actually jump on that side, drill it out, weld it up so we can put together this front end. So that is it for both aprons. They are welded in nice and strong. Got them beads on there. Oh yeah, and we went ahead and painted them so they look perfect. They're already dry because they're still hot from the weld, so it's perfect to paint them right now. Now what do you want to do? Just Good. go ahead, throw the front end back on? Sounds like a plan, dude. Let's do it. We finally got everything back together and it looks sick once again, but it is super late on us So we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow bright and early in the morning All right, so it is the next day here and although it is raining I think it is time to finally do the very first test drive in this truck I know we still got a few more little things to do But we've been anxious to see what it feels like see if it needs alignment and all that good stuff So let's just go ahead and crank it up and we'll probably just go around the block here nothing crazy But we really want to see how this thing drives. We're gonna do some uh, old Bernie's in the rain Right, so actually before we hit the streets we do got to install our windshield wipers because you know we can't see without them so go ahead slap them on right quick and then we're going to be on the roads in no time perfect weather for some good old ripping too see if this dually will do some skids all right so we quickly slapped them on let's see how they articulate really hopefully it doesn't scratch any paint and send it oh yeah it looks good hit it one more time is this one not too high? Uh, it gets really close right here, but I mean, it, it'll work perfectly. That may be how it is, honestly. Let's hit the road, man. Or what, what do you say? You gonna uh, maneuver that one more time? Probably adjust it one more time because uh, I feel like it's just sitting too high because I can kind of see it. So let's go ahead and actually adjust it one more and then we'll be good to go. Got the new carpets in here. Gonna get them a little bit dirty, but that's all good. I was really excited to see how this sucker works right here. The dude, 360 degree. Dude, this thing is insane, dude. Look at that. You can see all around the truck. You can even get super close to like other cars and stuff when you're let's trying to Let's go ahead. Well, we got tons of cars in the driveway right now. So let's try not to hit one. Hey, or... just check this out right here though. You can do a full 360 oh, of the front, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. And then you can go ahead and just do the front itself. You can do this, the back, the rear thing. Oh my goodness. If dude, you have a gooseneck, even... look at that. It has a perfect line. You can just uh, per perfectly just what is 
Dude, aux right here. Aux is if you want to install like an extra camera, like you oh, see that? Oh yeah. And look at all these toggle switches right here. And I did notice that there's wires like all throughout the truck, right? Yep. In the front and in the rear, I think there's like where you can hook up light bars. Yeah, and all you can definitely stuff. hook all these up. This is basically like if you have a company and you want to connect like some kind of like, maybe like a, what is that? A snatch truck yeah, attachment. Yeah. You can use all these lights for anything. Oh yeah. And I noticed that these F450s <laughs> actually, they do that quite often, the little snatch yeah. truck. But the, the really cool thing about the, the camera thing is when you're in reverse and you want to go up to the camera, this thing pops up and you can actually like see. Dude. Look at that, the side of that the truck. Sick, and watch man. this, dude. You can go each to each side more or more, dude. That's insane, dude. That's crazy. I'm, I'm going to definitely love using that once we're going to be hauling our new builds in the future. Oh, we got, definitely, man. We got some crazy plans coming at you, boys. So stay tuned for that stuff but let's go ahead and try to pull out of here and not damage anything i don't even have to look at my mirrors my side mirrors and i can pull you the whole entire truck out like this that is freaking insane dude the technology that the trucks are coming out with nowadays i can't wait to see what the future holds honestly i know right self-driving trucks so that's that's gonna be tesla or somebody out there they already got their little semi trucks but yeah let's go ahead hit the road see if this thing's got some juice man let's do it man i'm excited man. i'm excited to see what this thing drives like i never first time in my life driving a, a dually a dually like this dually dude. ford we did have a cummins 3500 that was a, a very old truck and it was a manual so that thing ripped it was a 5.9 but as of right now let's go ahead and pull out and uh see how this thing drives all right so check this out there's a truck coming right there let's see what it does look at this vehicle coming from left dude that is insane oh my goodness dude that this is some high class I, stuff right dude, here honestly you don't see how the person wrecked man i know man it tells you everything like i i was looking in my in my uh my windows but i didn't really see that truck and it alerted me that that's <laughs> freaking crazy dude do a little drifty what <laughs> dude this thing rips this thing is smooth smooth everything's good our temperature is good um, yeah, i'm just trying to check um our alignment because it was off whenever yeah. before we hit the frame machine and then once we straighten everything out it actually aligned itself because how the track bar was just off really yeah. the track bar is what controls the axle from moving left to right so that's exactly what it was yeah once we pulled it out i mean this is how straight the steering wheel is right here that's pretty straight it's not bad i've seen worse so we're gonna have to definitely need alignment on it but other than that dude it drives perfect dude this thing only has 53 engine hours and uh, 15 hours of idle time so this thing only sat there idling for 15 hours it only dude. idled in the dealership probably that's about it and the engine hours you know that was all us 53 <laughs> engine hours that's that, insane that's pretty wild dude. dude this thing is brand new i mean it only got 1500 miles yeah so. i'm just going through all the temperatures and stuff see if we're good transmission temp is at 100 still cold everything is nice dude everything is you know operating perfectly I love it. I love all the truck info as well. You know, it tells you everything you need to know. Oh, definitely. We just got to cut all these lights off right here. We got a little Christmas tree going and it's already, Christmas is over. So Christmas we got to turn them off. Dude. We got to turn them off. It's the new year's. You got to have new, new beginnings. All right, so what I think about the truck is as a passenger, I love the freaking sunroof, dude. That is sick. Or the panoramic moonroof, whatever panoramic. you call it. Panoramic, that ain't no sunroof right there, That's man. a moonroof. That's, moon. um, That's a space roof. The right seats there. are not that comfortable. I don't know why, but they're just not, you you know they're they don't suit me they don't suit me either man they're not as good as i thought they were going to be but definitely gonna actually send that stuff out probably today we are selling, sending it out to lnd solutions yeah we could find California. a perfect box for it guys that's the hard part about it you gotta find a box for it so we're gonna send those suckers out and they'll be on their way in no time so we did pull up to the fuel station we thought we were about to top off our truck but we already got a full tank and it says 689 miles and it's not even 100 full i think on a full tank you could probably get like 750 miles so you Man, you can drive to Miami with Miami, that. Texas, one of the two. You can get there, but not back. You know what I mean? One tank of fuel, dude. That That's is crazy. insane. I don't think, is there a truck that can hold more or is all dualies around that? Honestly, place? honestly, I didn't do my research, but as, I, as I'm looking right here, 700 miles, that's a lot. This may be one of the top top runners in that game oh yeah right dude there. i can't wait to do a trip with this thing to see how far we can go with one tank of gas and uh right now it's all stock i wonder if it's going to be better if you delete it or tune it, it it definitely will get you a little bit better fuel mileage but i'm gonna go ahead and hit the road and let me uh tell you guys what i think of this yeah, thing go ahead and test it out man she's a beast man she's a big one though she's a big one i love driving dualies dude i don't know what it is i just love driving dualies especially this dually because the turn radius is so amazing dude i didn't have no issues pulling out right there that's the thing about a 450 dude it's like insane it's like almost a drift truck you know what i mean oh dude and she's got tons of juice 
Got to watch out for oncoming traffic because, you know, I'm still not used to driving a dually yet, but it's been a while, dude. This is fun. All right, so it's tradition. We got to do one Bernie for the boys. He's clean, man. Did you do a little pump with the brakes? Yeah. Do, one. do one more. Just, just launch it. Or let her rip. Alrighty guys, so we are back from our very first test drive and I gotta say this thing rips, handles absolutely amazing. I can't wait to test drive it some more, but that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got a few more things before this truck is 100% complete and we got some other goodies on the way as well. So make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also if you haven't, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you wanna help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch. With that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.